Hello everyone and welcome to the New York Empoleon's Week 8 Battle of the GBA Season 9. We are going up against Leo and the Durham Drodagons. If you have never seen him before, link is in the description below. Actually, even if you have seen him before, his link is in the description below. Either way, regardless, if you have not checked out the Team Builder, I encourage you to do that. Again, this week I did do some transactions, so you'll see some new stuff. You may have already noticed it down below, some of the new mods that I have on my team. Um, so if you do want to understand why I made the transaction that I made or what the full list of transactions was, I encourage you guys to go check that out. I threw it in right at the beginning. It's the first, like, three minutes, and then you can literally not watch the rest if you don't want. Um, but... This week, we have a doozy of a matchup. I honestly do believe that this is one of the tougher matchups for my team, and I rarely say things like that out loud on recording, but in, this was a very tough one. Um, and if you are a member of my front office and you did skip the team builder, um, you should go watch it because there's actually stuff you don't even know there. Um, <laughs> I changed some stuff, so and I didn't tell anyone I was doing it, so haha. -ha. Um, we are going to be hopefully picking up a W. This is it. If we lose, we are out. If we win, we st are still alive, uh, mathematically. We need to win out, and Leo needs to lose out in order for us to have a chance at playoffs. So if we lose this match, that's it. Leo wins, we lose, and that's game. Um, but if we win this match, then we have two more matches. We need to win both of them, and Leo needs to lose both of them, which is out of my hands at that point. So uh, this is my match to take it into my own hands and get a victory where I need to get a victory and keep the season, at least the dream, the very long shot dream alive. But anyway, I've kept you guys long enough. I will get you guys, or I'll get connected with Leo, and I'll get you guys uh, joining us for that battle. See you all in a second. All right, everyone, welcome back. We're going to jump right into this. We're going to see which six Pokemon Leo has brought to counter my team, which, of course, you see on the bottom, and he does have the Snorlax, the Marshadow, the Darkrai, the uh, Metacham, the Ferrothorn, and the Garchomp. Now, Garchomp is the only Z user that he brought. No Cress, I'm okay with. No Nidoking means no uh, easy removal. In fact, I see no removal. Uh, on his team, and maybe I'm just overlooking, you know, that Rapid Spin Ferrothorn or something like that. But I don't see him having any removal, and everything's grounded. Mega Beedrill's good in this matchup, I won't lie. Um, but getting a layer of Toxic Spikes up early could just hands down win me the game. He's probably going to leave with his Ferrothorn, force me to defog. Um, but I can't just lead Zapdos. I'm going to lead Necrozma. If he leads with his uh, Darkrai, then I can just go out into either Ditto, if I predict a Dark Pulse, or um, or Zapdos to take the hit. Um, Zapdos does not appreciate it, but it doesn't straight up die to one. Um, I did forget to pull up my Calyx, everybody, so we're going to do that. Just, just bear with me for a sec, everybody. We got 23 seconds left over here. We're fine. Uh, I know my computer hates when I open tabs, which is bad, um, so hopefully it doesn't lag or anything like that, and I don't have to make any edits to the live com. But uh, we're just going to confirm at this point that we are going to lead off with our Necrozma um, as we pull up our Calyx uh, of all my Mons. So Reshiram is one, Lele is two. Uh, we've got Mega Beedrill. And there's the Durian. Um, and again, I'm going to take a second here before I get too into this. Um, I expect him to want to set up hazards um, badly because he didn't bring any removal. Um, and so... Um, what I'm going to do is straight up just blow a Z-move on this thing. If he switches out, I'm honestly okay with that. Um, it means he's afraid of me, which is great. He could go Snorlax here. It is what it is. I'm just going to click Inferno Overdrive since it kills the Ferrothorn. He does stay in, um, and we are going to be able to click the... Fireium Z, which is a tech that my front office doesn't even know that I had on this Necrozma. Um, I, sw <laughs> I switched it literally uh, in right before I recorded my team builder. I decided, you know what? Um, weakness policy is fine. Cassidberry is fine. All these things we've been talking about, they're good tech, but 
getting rid of Ferrothorn right off the bat, and he does live it because he does have the Aquaberry and he is max special defense. He's going to set up one layer of spikes. And honestly, that's okay. Um, he needed to be... <laughs> so he needed to be, like, literally pretty specially defensive to take it that well. Um, and that's fine. Um, one layer of spikes I can always go into Zapdos to deal with. Um, at this point, we know about how specially defensive he is, and another Heat Wave will kill him without the Akaberry. So I'm just going to go for it here, um, and if he lets this thing just die, then that works for me. Um, and if he switches out into, say, the Snorlax, then that's also fine. I could just go for a Thunder Wave, since my play is to go into Zapdos at some point and just defog the rocks. Or the spikes, I should say. Um, so I could go for a Thunder Wave, expecting him to switch, but I don't think there's a need to do that. I can burn the Snorlax if I go for the Heat Wave. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for Heat Wave, and if he lets this thing go down here, then that's fine. And if he doesn't, it's already really damaged to where Lele can kind of come in and deal with it. So he's going to switch out into his uh, Dark Rye. I really wish I clicked the Thunder Wave there. Um, but we do hit the Dark Rye. We see that the Ferrothorn has spikes. We know it had the Aka Berry. Um, and he can't outright kill me. Uh, with anything, if I'm not mistaken, Modest, Max Special Attack, Dark Pulse, uh, let's say he Specs. Specs could kill, nothing else can, even Life Orb doesn't kill, right? Uh, that's Light Ball. Yeah, Life Orb has a very, very low chance to kill with the Dark Pulse. So, I could go for a Thunder Wave here, I could also go into my Zapdos. Uh, which is also physically defensive this week to take on the Marshadow. Um, and we are going to see... Probably going to see the Dark Pulse. Um, again, if he's not choice specs, he's not doing 50% to Zapdos. Um, or I can just Thunder Wave right here. He could sub. I think I'm just going to stay in and I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. And kind of scout out what set he is. He goes for the Dark Pulse here. Are you Specs? No, you're Life Orb. Okay. Um, and we Thunder Wave, which is great. Because uh, now we know we outspeed him later on, um, or even right now. I can't go for a Dark Pulse yet, but on the Pharaoh, the Dark Rot, and the Snorlax, I have basically safe, uh, safe ability to... Whatchamacallit. Now, knowing that he's Life Orb and how much damage he did, he will have a 2 KO on the Zapdos, but I can go into Zapdos first and then Roost until he... Uh, well, he could Ice Beam, so I can't just do that. I don't think I need my Necrozma for anything specific. I could Moonlight and hope that he hits him or he gets fully paralyzed, but I think I'd rather just go for the Heat Wave and get the damage off. Because um, if he gets fully paralyzed, I'll still get the kill on this thing. Um, in two of those, so he does go for the Dark Pulse, he doesn't get fully paralyzed, that's fine. Um, Darkrai kills Necrozma, oops, Necrozma with Dark Pulse. Um, now I could go into Zapdos, and if he has Ice Beam, is he killing with the Life Orb? Uh, no, he's not. So I could go Zapdos, and I could just click, um, could click Defog. I don't think that's worth it, though. It's one layer of spikes. I could go Ditto. Steel is Darkrai. But I break my Sash doing that. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know I'm Sashed. He thinks I'm Scarfed. But I, do I want to break my Sash like that? Not really. Um, Scarf Ditto would be nice here. I could go Reshiram as well. But I mean, honestly, Ditto... I don't... I'm gonna go Ditto here. For once in my life, I wish I was Scarf Ditto, and I'm not. Um, but we are gonna see what his full Darkrai set is, um, and I think that's just important to know. So it's Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt. Works for me. Um, Dark Pulse is free. Dark Pulse is super free. Um, he really can't go into anything right now. He's just going to let this thing die to the Ditto. He doesn't know that I'm not Scarfed yet. 
which means he has to play around that. So ditto kills Darkrai with Dark Pulse. Um, and that thing's gone, which is a huge threat off my shoulders. Marshadow, uh, if he's Scarfed, Marshadow... Oh, he goes Snorlax here. Okay. So we know that he was max special attack uh, Darkrai based on the damage he did to Necrozma. Um, and... Focus Blast is a 2 KO on the Snorlax, unless he's Berry, which he could be. He certainly could be Berry. Reveals that I'm not Scarfed, but I don't think that matters so much. Um, so I could go Focus Blast here, hit this Snorlax incredibly hard. Um, kind of scout if he's Berry or not, scout what he wants to do. I'm going to do that. Um... I missed my Focus Blast. That's not surprising at all. He goes for a Curse. Um, and that's annoying. Oh! Okay. Um, Alright. I have ways of dealing with Curse Lax if needed. Um, I kind of want to know if he's Berry, though. I'm going to go for another Focus Blast. But honestly, if I keep missing Focus Blasts, then I have to go for Dark Pulses or something. Um, or just let this ditto go down if he does attack me right now. Return kills. Um, land a Focus Blast. Okay, so that should do about 60% if he's not specially defensive. Which he might be. Um, and he actually recycles and it doesn't 2 at KO, so we actually get a lot of information. Uh, so we know that you're going to be a big berry. I don't know which one, but we know you're going to be gluttony and a big berry. And I don't actually bring you under 50%, which means that I could switch out right here if I want to. Uh, I could switch out right here. Lele's not a bad switch in. It doesn't appreciate taking a plus one return. I'm not going to lie. Um, although we know he's specially defensive now. How much special defense do you need in order to take that? Or just... Yeah, you actually need a lot to be under 50%. You have to be max HP and max special defense in order to not take 50% from that Focus Blast. Um, unless he wasn't modest and he's timid on his Dark Rai. Um, then he doesn't have to be max special defense, but does, he still has to have special defense investment, right? Uh, yeah, he does. Um, so, he's probably not a ton of HP investment. I'm actually just going to go... I'm going to go Zapdos here. Um, and I know that's a very passive play and allows him to keep cursing. But it also could get a static para. Um, goes for the EQ. Okay, curse, recycle, EQ. What is your, what is your move to hit my Zapdos with? Um, since I just have a free defog here. And again, he can curse. Certainly could curse. Um, that is totally expected that he's going to do that right here. Um, facade. Okay. But he's not status. Um, and that does literally nothing to Zapdos. So, um, I could let him curse, or I can go for a U-turn. If he curses, then he doesn't... Actually, U-turn at plus one defense may not even get him down to 50 which would be ideal. Um, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> There's almost no chance that it gets him down to 50% here uh, with plus one defense. Even with no defensive investment, I'm doing max 9%. Ooh, it might. It'd be really close. Um, but I'm going to click... Ah, that's tough. Because if I U-turn... And I don't hit 50%, I can just go straight into Lele. Which, yeah, doesn't appreciate taking a plus one facade, but he's not status. Um, he clearly has no investment in the attack right there. Um, so I'm I'm living it. Not comfortably, but I'm living it. His Darkrai is dead, so I can spam Psychic. Um, and Psychic's doing 50% to the Snorlax. Potentially. Although potentially not, depending on how much special defense he has. 
I just have to break this. That's it. I just have to break this. I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn. And hope I don't pop this berry. Oh, I did. I popped it. Popped the berry. Okay, but I have to kill this Snorlax. So I'm gonna go into Lele and I'm gonna click Toxic here. I know it boosts his facades, I get that. I respect it. But it also puts it on a timer and it's a timer I need it to be on. Um, plus two curse to my Lele. Or plus two facade, once boosted by status does kill me. So I maybe can't even do that. I'm going to click Toxic. I have to click Toxic. I don't think I have a choice. Um, I know he has the facade. But I still have to click it. And if he goes straight for the facade, then he kills me. But I think he's going to recycle here. Yeah. So I can switch my Lele out. Um, I can switch my Lele out at this point. Um... Preserve that. Put him on this timer. This is a very important timer. Um, now I can go into Ditto, which then becomes a plus two, plus two Snorlax. Um, and I know, again, you have no attack investment at all. Um, but I also know you have no defense investment. Um, and you're going to facade me while badly poisoned. Okay, so we're looking at about... We're, we're looking at it might kill Ditto. Um, but... Is it quote-unquote better Ditto than Zapdos? I think so. Eh, maybe not. He knows I'm not Scarfed, though. I'm gonna go... I think Zapdos is honestly... Well, Zapdos... I'll go Zapdos because Ditto can potentially take two. And so what I would need to do is get some damage off with Ditto. Um, whereas I don't think Zapdos can take two. Yeah, that's just going to kill. Okay. So Snorlax. Kill Zapdos with Facade. Um, so I'll go Ditto here. And I'll click Facade. Um, and there's a chance, depending on his investment, that I live here. And I definitely... Well, I don't actually definitely outspeed him, because we're not Scarfed. Winning the speed tie would be important, though. Okay, we, we win the speed tie. So we're going to bring him down. He's going to facade. We can live this. And we do. So now we just need to win one more speed die. Because he's going to eat his berry. Um, and we just need to win this one more speed die. And then we're in good shape. Because then Lele can, can take this thing out. Um, so I just need to win this speed die. He recycles. So that that speed tie ends up not super mattering. Um, and we are going to facade here. Take him down. So now it's just this speed tie, but he's like letting the toxic rack up. Um, and again, one speed tie is all that counts right here. This speed tie right here. Although if he recycles one more time, then it doesn't matter because then the toxic will bring him down under 50%. So... Um, and we do win this speed tie. Okay. Okay, so Ditto's gonna die, but uh, the Toxic's gonna bring down under 50%, and he doesn't have uh, a berry right now, which means that Lele can kill him. Yeah, Lele kills from there. 
All right. So it looks bad. I won't deny that. But I do have double Scarfer still alive and Mega Beedrill with outspeeds everything on his team that isn't Scarfed. And I still have my Lele that can prevent Mega Metacham from going for bullet punches. So um, Psychic is my play here 100% of the time. Um, and if this fails to kill and he recycles, then he takes a ton of... He dies to Toxic. Um, if this fails to kill and he attacks, which is what he should do, then I'm in trouble. But there's... This should kill! Oh! This season has been just awful. Alright, Snorlax kills Tapu Lele, uh, Ditto with Facade. Snorlax kills Tapu Lele with Facade. Uh, Tapu Lele kills Snorlax with Toxic Damage. Okay. That's incredibly frustrating because... Well, I wouldn't say I needed Lele to win the game. Uh, it wouldn't have hurt. If that's Scarf Chomp, then I lose. Either way. And I needed Lele for that. To make him not be able to lock himself into Outrage. If it isn't Scarf Chomp, then... I still lose, I think. Um... But that's incre- Oh my god, that's a- I don't even know. Okay. I don't know what his spread is. Let's just say he's max uh, HP, max special defense. You know? Um, it's Z Garchomp. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What Z move? If it's Z Sandstorm, then... No, he's Dragonium Z. Okay. Uh, Dragon Z. Um, so he's gonna kill Mega Beedrill. So Garchomp kills Mega Beedrill with Dragonium Z. And I've got Reshiram. And I've got Dragon Pulse. And I am Scarfed. I could also Blue Flare and try to get the burn here which is theoretically a more reliable way to win this game. Not gonna lie. Um, although Dragon Pulse kills this Garchomp. So we're gonna go from there. We'll start there. Start by killing Garchomp. Um, since we know he's not Habanberry. So Reshiram... Kills Garchomp with Dragon Pulse. Um, it's a matter of what moves or what items he has on his other Pokemon, because Pharaoh should not be able to do anything to me. Um, Mega Metacham doesn't take two Dragon Pulses. Marshadow. Marshadow takes a Dragon Pulse just fine. But, depending on his spread. I don't know what moves he has, but Spectral Thief doesn't kill me. I wish I could just Psychic right now. Can't do that. Um, I mean, if he gets enough damage on me, then Mega Metachamp can finish the game. Um, but I mean, this is a this is a two KO on a Marshadow. And Spectral Thief's... I mean, it's a 2 KO, but he doesn't have access to Shadow Sneak yet. Um, I don't think even a crit will kill. Unless he's minus special defense nature for some reason. Yeah, it won't. He goes for the close combat here. Which is a 2 KO. Um, but I think I have one more turn of Psychic Terrain. Yeah. So I am going to be able to take this out. Um, he switches out. He's going to try to get that, uh, the Shadow Sneak. But Shadow Sneak won't kill me from here. Okay. 
So he's going to be able to Shadow Sneak, and Mega Metacham is going to be able to survive one, but it doesn't survive a crit. Uh, it does not survive a crit. So we are, I mean, we're here now. Reshiram's doing Reshiram things. So Reshiram kills Ferrothorn with Dragon Pulse. Um, I outspeed the Marshadow. Shinsuke is the Metacham. So do you have, like, Bullet Punch? Fake out Bullet Punch into your... Marshadows, Shadow Sneak, I guess that would do it. Crit right here. Crit right here. Come on, come on, Reshiram. Come on. Keep my season alive. Keep my season alive, Reshiram. This is it. Just crit. He has Fake Out. Okay. That does a lot. Does he have Bullet Punch? I guess that puts me in range of Shadow Sneak. Um, and if I don't get a crit, it doesn't matter anyway. But if I crit here, he actually has the Fake Out with me having Lele. This man was super confident Lele would be dead. I don't get the crit, uh, and he does have double edge, and that will finish the game and my season. So Mega Metacham kills Reshiram with uh, double edge, and great game to Leo. I really don't know what his Snorlax spread was, but even max special defense, it would have been a roll to kill from that range, and that's super frustrating. Um, because if Lele was still alive, and I could have reset the Psychic Terrain and switched moves on my Reshiram, I could have won that game. Once that Garchomp went down, I switch out, I switch back in, and I click Blue Flare. I win that game 100% um, of the time. Blue Flare Oko's Mega Metacham, um, and since Marshadow couldn't Oko me, Blue Flare has a chance to Oko that. So honestly, that game came down to that damage roll uh, on the Lele, or on the Snorlax with the Lele. Um, now, should I have doubled out from there into Beedrill? Maybe. Um, because Beedrill wasn't super necessary for the rest of the game. Um, and so I should have kept Lele alive, switched out into the Beedrill, let him take a little bit more psychic, or poison damage, gone out into the Lele, then clicked Psychic. Then been able to switch into Reshiram on the Pharaoh. And yeah, so okay, that's how I could have played that out. Um, keeping Lele alive, I should have valued that, but it was... If he wasn't max special defense, then... <laughs> wow. Then uh, I had him anyway, uh, and if... And I think I did have that game if... If Snorlax had gone down right there. Um, I legitimately do. Um, and can I say 100% that I am a better player than Leo? No. He 2-0'd me, I 2-0'd him. We're, we're even now. But like... I really do believe that had Snorlax died to the to the Psychic instead of dying to the Toxic Damage and Lele was still alive, that game would have gone 100% completely differently. Reshiram and Lele in the late game would have been able to clean that up for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will continue to obviously upload my battles for the last two weeks of the season, but we are no longer eligible to make the playoffs. Um, so hopefully good luck to my opponent, Leo, who has, I believe, clinched a playoff spot with this win. And I will see you guys all back here next week as we take on the New York Noibats rivalry for New York. So this isn't a meme battle. This one matters. He's also still fighting for a playoff spot, so I would never meme against somebody whose games matter. But we are, uh, like, this one matters. I want to win the New York battle. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all back here next week. Take care, everybody.